What's going on, people? It's your boy Charlie in the box, the Patriot of Miscreant. What I'm gonna have in my box today is gonna be what the hell's going on in California? Let's get this video started. It was once said, the best form of government is the one that governs the least. Well, I guess Assembly Member Robert Bontz of California never heard of that. He tried to pass a bill of AB 22 saying that car, Communist Party USA members can hold public office, even though there's laws on the books saying contrary to it. That doesn't matter. See, communists in America today, when they hold public office, would say that the Bill of Rights were a bunch of negative liberties. And the Constitution and its Bill of Rights were an instrument of the government to restrain its people. And when they wanted to give out said liberties like education and health care and immigrants' rights, well, they could take others away, like the right to keep and bear arms. But our system of government, with the checks and balances in it, as America's founding fathers put it together, it wasn't like that. The early Americans knew that the United States Constitution's Bill of Rights were an instrument of the people to restrain its government. And these said liberties were God-given and they can never be tramped on. Let's look at California's gun ban. They want to ban assault weapons, magazine clips, and even freaking ammo. See, the reason why America's founders thought it was next in importance that the people retain the right to keep and bear arms and to form a militia was from anybody that wished to come do them harm, even in excessive government. And they thought it was next to points to make it the second amendment to protect the first. See, we have laws that govern the land and individual states. And individual states could pass laws like legalized prostitution, marijuana, and to restrict the right to keep and bear arms. If you live in an individual state like California and they're restricting the right to keep and bear arms, it is your responsibility as a citizen of that state to go into public office and to overturn those laws that we are granted to us of self-preservation preservation from the most high. Because we know the criminals and the government are always going to have them. And the only people they're ever going to take these guns away from is the law by the citizens like me and you. California lawmakers just approved giving $45 million for illegal aliens that are facing deportation because of Trump. We pay their legal counsels when they get a DUI or commit a felony. Why not help the ones that are facing deportation? They don't want to go back to those countries that they fled from. But the bad thing about it is Mr. and Mrs. America and Mr. and Mrs. California, you're the ones that are paying the bill for it. I guess those are the type of things that happen in the communist state of California. Over here in the crazy ass state of California, we're giving condoms to guys in jail and prison. I guess we're all homosexual and transgender now, right? That's life in the pokey. Today, California is gonna be the first state to pay for an inmate's reassignment surgery. Even though this man kidnapped, robbed, and killed somebody, that shit don't matter, he got rights. Over here in California, we elected an actor of Arnold Schwarzenegger to be our governor. Everybody was laughing at us. He didn't do no freaking different. He said he was gonna rebuild these bridges. Obama said that, even Trump said that. Those bridges are never gonna be getting built. But as long as they keep plagiarizing us, we keep falling for it. And that's a sad damn thing. Because I think today we as people are teaching our children how to live on our knees and not die on our feet. We're never gonna question reality. Even though we all know it in our gut, things ain't right. California, we're no different than Illinois. They can't pay their freaking bills and unfunded liabilities. And we're no different. All you Californians got a government job or a union job, you're not gonna get paid out in the end. Now they're paying for immigrants' rights, people that ain't even born in this freaking country. But where does the money come from, people? But since we as Californians live no accountability, it doesn't matter about that. But in the crazy state of California, it's nuts, dude. I think we live superficial lives. Uh, we're inconsiderate and rude 
and we're going down a path that destroyed societies before us, countries before us, and we as California is the anchor, the hole in the ship that's gonna take the whole America down. There's another hole over there in Illinois. And every state that the left controls. See, you really need, need to know who you're standing with, people. There's a difference between the old liberal Democrats of the past and the, 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 the Republicans of today. The neocons that we have today in Washington are the old Democrats. And if you're a Democrat standing today, you're a socialist, a communist, or early 20th progressive like Hillary Clinton. And whenever you give your government all that power and relinquish it to them, well, bad things happen to their citizens. Just look at history. It never works out for the average person when socialism and communism takes over. So I think it would be really important that people started to uh, make a difference and make a change. Don't pass on that responsibility to future generations or our children to do. Uh, at some point, we have to start being, making well-informed decisions and making a difference because these are times that are gonna be written in history. Bill. Benjamin Franklin said once, either you're gonna be governed by God or by tyrant, that's up to you. So if you're not gonna do everything in power to destroy your life, liberty, and this country, you're gonna do everything in power to destroy all three. Charge the box of Patriot and Miss Grant, and I'm out. Hello there. Watch Charlie the Box before he's sent to a re-education camp. Because the government and the bad guys are always gonna have the guns, and they're just gonna take them away from Mr. and Mrs. America, law-abiding citizens. I had to bring a, uh, uh, what is that thing called? A freaking, uh, uh, beach freaking umbrella. It's hot out over here in California. Next. <laughs>